video games, game, video games are great, but in moderation. What does that mean? It means you get you can get too much of a good thing. Did you have lots of friends to hang out with? Sure. Do you know I read that was interesting? An average person 20 years ago had more friends than the average person today. Really? That's surprising. How did they come up with that? They do something that we call a survey, where they ask the person how many close friends they had. It turns out people have been spending too much time on their cell phones, email, and text messages that they're losing quality, t quality time developing real friendships. Tell us more, Grandpa, what was it look like when you were in third grade? When I was a kid, I had no TV. I listened to the radio. I went out and played, got carried away. I didn't have your video games. I read books for fun when the day was done. I went out and played at the school. Once upon a time, I had fun all the time. It didn't cost a single dime I didn't have the internet And when the weather was too wet We stayed inside and played some games Without cable TV With CBS and NBC We thought this would do anyway Now modern day kids Have the best of both worlds We have some tough choices to make most of your time and don't mind, especially when you're at climb. Does anyone know who named our town Centerville? Yes? His name was Benjamin Robbins. He was a farmer from New Jersey. Very good. Does anyone know why he left New Jersey? Yes? My dad said he left New Jersey because of the toll booths and the traffic in Manhattan is a nightmare. <laughs> Not exactly. Benjamin Robbins was looking for land and a better life for his family. Ohio wasn't even a state yet. Does anyone know when Ohio became a state? Yes? In 1803, the same year the Louisiana Purchase. That was a big year for Thomas Jefferson, our third president. Wow, maybe you should be teaching a class. Well, what do we know about Benjamin Robbins? Well, that brings us to today's lesson. Let me tell you a story. 